So I've been testing a bunch of WordPress membership plugins for a month now. And let me tell you, 90% of them are lying when they say they are free. They'll let you create a membership level for sure. But the second you try to log content, accept payments, or even add social media logins, you'll be locked behind a paywall. Now I'm not saying a pro subscription is bad. In fact, some of them are totally worth it. But the way I test plugins is simple. The free version should deliver enough value that it makes me want to upgrade. And that's how I've zeroed in on these five membership plugins that actually offer real value for free in 2025. By the end, you'll know which one fits your site and which one you have to skip. Let's get into it. Number one, Paid Memberships Pro. If you want to build a real membership site without hitting a paywall every five minutes, this is the one. You can create multiple membership tiers, log content, and even accept PayPal or Stripe payments right out of the box. I set it up on a test site and was selling paid memberships in under 20 minutes. No extra extensions, no pro mode. Now let's talk about the pros. I know saying it's powerful sounds surface level, but once you dive in, you'll see why people love it. The control you get over pricing, renewals, and access levels is ridiculous. You can set trial periods, recurring payments, even lifetime memberships without extra plugins. And the reports, super detailed. You can also see who joined, when they paid, when they canceled. It feels like running a real business dashboard, not a hobby site. Now the cons. The interface can feel dense when you first open it. There are tabs inside tabs, but once you understand where things live, it clicks. The design side isn't flashy. You'll rely on your theme or page builder to make it look modern. And while the free version gets you selling, Things like email automation or recurring discount codes require the paid add-ons. The pricing is simple. You get a free plan and paid plans start at $247 per year. If you want something reliable and business ready, start free. And upgrade once you're ready to scale. It's worth it. Number two, ultimate member. If you're not trying to sell memberships yet and just want to build a real community, this is your plugin. You can let users register, create profiles, view directories, and even edit everything from the front end. I used it to build a small creative network and people could join, post updates, and message others without ever touching WordPress admin panel. Now let's talk about the pros. The front end experience is honestly one of the best I've seen. It feels like a social media network inside WordPress. You can customize every detail, roles, permissions, profile fields, to create unique experiences for each user type. And once you understand how it's structured, it's actually fun to build with. It doesn't feel like work, more like assembling a community from scratch. Now the cons, the setup can be overwhelming at first. You'll see 10 menus and think, where do I start? But once you get past that, it's easy. It doesn't include payments or subscriptions, so you'll need a separate plugin if you want to monetize. And every once in a while, a theme conflict can mess with the layout. Not a deal breaker, but something to check before launch. Pricing includes a free core plugin. Premium extensions start at $99 a year. If your focus is community or user engagement instead of payments, Ultimate Member is an amazing starting point. Number three, membership for WooCommerce. If your site already runs WooCommerce, this one's a total no-brainer. You can just create a membership product, give it a price, and decide what it unlocks. Now, let's talk about the pros. The integration with WooCommerce is seamless. Billings, renewals, and refunds all happen automatically. You can combine products and memberships easily, like selling a course and giving three months of membership access with it. And it's also reliable. Once you've set it up, it just works. I didn't have to fix a single thing after launch. Now, the cons. It's not lightweight. WooCommerce is already heavy, and this sits on top of that. The settings are buried inside menus, so finding everything takes a few minutes. And visually, it's quite boring. You'll want to customize how the member pages look to make them feel premium. The pricing is also very straightforward. You get a free version and a pro version for $129 per year. If you already sell products or courses with WooCommerce, this is easily the most seamless way to add memberships. Number four, restrict content free. If you just want to lock certain posts or sections without building a full-blown membership system, this one's perfect. You install it, go to your post, tick restrict to members, and that's literally it. Now let's talk about the pros. It's lightweight and super fast. It doesn't slow down your website. You can protect full pages or just specific parts of a post using shortcodes. And honestly, it's refreshing to use something this simple that just works without setup wizards or cluttered dashboards. Now the cons. The free version doesn't include payments, so it's not meant for paid memberships. There's no member dashboard either, just simple access control. And if you plan to grow later, you'll eventually need to upgrade or switch to something more complete. The pricing is also simple. 
it's completely free to start. The pro version with payments and integrations start at $99 per year. If your goal is to just protect premium articles or create a small private library, Restrict content is perfect for that. Number five, simple membership. This plugin truly lives up to its name. I installed it, created a few membership levels, connected PayPal, and had a live members only section in about 10 minutes. No setup wizard, no marketing fluff, it just works. Now let's talk about the pros. It's fast, reliable, and doesn't break, which is honestly rare. You can create both free and paid membership levels in the free version, which is super generous and it handles everything inside WordPress, signups, logins, payments, without any extra dependencies. Now the cons, the design feels a bit dated. It's functional, but not flashy. You don't get analytics or automation tools. It's as minimal as it gets. And if you plan to scale big or integrate with lots of tools, you'll outgrow it eventually. It's completely free with optional add-ons for payment gateways and customizations, usually under $50 total. If you're just starting your first membership site and want zero hassle, simple membership is the easiest, most stress-free option to begin with. So that's it, the five membership plugins that actually work in 2025. But if a free plugin already feels this good, you know the developers are doing something right. By the way, this video is brought to you by Airlift. It's our free speed optimization plugin that helps your WordPress site hit 90 plus on the page speed score, even with membership or LMS plugins installed. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can try it out for free. Thanks for watching and if you want to see how to 3x your site speed, check this video next.